I was in Bangkok when the red shirts, they, they were they were fine, you know, I mean, they, they, they seem to have their own war and um, their own reasons, but, you know, they, they never seem to, you know, bother other individuals. I mean, it's getting worse now, but the tension's getting, you know, higher and higher, but I think Thailand's generally a pretty safe place. The people are pretty, pretty friendly, you know, people friendly. Um, the Thai people are very proud people. You have to give them the respect they deserve, but if you do, they certainly give it back. Um, they're one of the most respectful races of people that I've ever met, and I, I love Thai people. You know, it's just a fabulous place to live. I mean, I just like the life, I like the people. Um, it's affordable. You know, I just got back from London, it's so expensive. I mean, I don't know how these people can survive. 350 pounds in a hotel for a night. I had three of us, we had an English breakfast, it was 100 quid. I'm saying, I don't want to be here. The bank, the bank balance is going down every day. I said, it's just, you know, and I'm, I'm fortunate to make, you know, more than the average man, but it's just batty money. So here you really feel like you're getting value. And, and of course the atmosphere here and the people are always friendly. I love home, let's not forget that. But. You can own a beautiful property without all the headaches. Um, and I think that a lot of people are going to start living that kind of life. You know, you can, you can come away for a month a year and recharge. It's your house, you do what you want. You know, there's many properties all over the country. And um, it's affordable, it's beautiful. It, and I think we should, we all need it, you know. You've got to look after yourself, I think. I think people have the wars and all the bullshit that's going on is because people get so stressed out, they never give themselves any time. And I think if you get away sometimes, just get out of your usual and, and see a little bit of different people, different atmosphere, different weather, then you go back to work in a better space, you know. Our mind, Peter Bolton has a little boat and we take it out most weekends and uh, we just did PP Island, we do go out different islands. There's an island just outside of Phuket, it's amazing. It's about as big as a football, half a football field. It's just a little tiny island popping up out the ocean and there's a restaurant on it. The whole island is just a restaurant. And we, it's just the most quaint place to go and have a lunch or a dinner. It holds probably 20 people and they have little generators in the middle of nowhere. Just a little popped up piece of land in the middle of the ocean. So we went out, we had dinner there. So there's some magical places here. We went into the caves and diving and, you know, you go into the forest and there's still wild tigers here. And I mean, it's a beautiful, beautiful country.